Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing another bag from Alpaca. This is the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. This is a super versatile uh, tech bag, laptop bag, backpack, satchel, all of the above. Firstly, this bag is made from Axoflux, which, which is a recycled fabric uh, and it's super versatile and it's got good water resistance and all of that. This is the green version uh, and there are other versions available. Um, it's a really good sized bag. Uh, and it fits up to a 16 inch laptop or MacBook Pro. The dimensions of the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro are 42 centimeters across, it's 31 centimeters down, and it's 12 centimeters wide or deep. It has a capacity of 15 liters, and when it's empty, it weighs 1.38 kilos. So it's on the lighter size, uh, but depending on what you carry, this bag is going to weigh quite a lot. Uh, and that is something that I have to take into account with this bag, uh, given some issues with the strap, which I'll come back to uh, a little bit later. So this is the back of the bag, and on here you have a luggage pass-through uh, strap, so that's where you can put it onto your suitcase. Um, on the front of the bag, uh, we have a pouch which has a nice little amount of organization in there. There is a key loop in here, uh, as well as a range of smaller pockets for things such as pens uh, and slightly larger ones for things like notebooks or your other smaller accessories. Then we come to the main compartment of the bag uh, and there are a number of pockets in here. This is a super well organized bag. Firstly, you've got a beautiful felt lined laptop sleeve, which also has the securing strap that goes also across the lined iPad or tablet uh, sleeve there as well. You've got a nice open space in the middle of the bag. Then you've got two good sized pockets and then a nice zippered pouch here on the side, which has a range of smaller pockets on the top there. There are two handles on the top here, which make it great for like a brief style carry. It's got a very versatile strap that is easily removed from each end here. And then on the back here is this extra zipper where the backpack straps are stored. Um, and then they put onto uh, the bottom of uh, the bag here on some little loops. I'll show the bag now uh, being worn in a number of different ways. Um, as I said, it is super versatile. You can carry it as a brief. You can carry it over your shoulder or as a cross body bag. Or you can carry it as a backpack. So as I said, super versatile, lots of ways this bag can be used. Now, I mentioned it was Axoflux uh, material, and that is a beautiful material for some basic water resistance, um, as well as being durable and sort of sturdy for the construction of the bag. The bag also has these YKK AquaGuard zips, um, so good quality zips with that nice sort of rubberized sort of enclosure on the top. As I said, this main strap is detachable um, and it's a simple sort of hook and release system. Um, but the bag also has on its strap a magnetic buckle. So that comes undone with a little bit of sort of force in the right direction um, and it's held in there nice and magnetically. This is a strong buckle um, and does require a bit of the right motion to get it to be undone. And of course, when there's any force on here, it's really hard to undo. Let's now put a few things in here so you can just get a bit of an idea. Just in this front compartment, as I said, great for your small objects. I'm not going to fill that up, but I've got here a small traveler's uh, notebook passport size, and that fits beautifully into one of those internal pockets. You can also put, as I said, your keys on that key loop, your wallet, all those kinds of items in there. In this main compartment, this is where we get the business end, if you will. So um, you could put bulkier items. I've got my uh, gable and the pencil case here. It could be a, a tech kit. It could be you know anything you sort of need to carry on a daily basis and a notebook. Lots of compartments in here. Lots of space for all your items. I then have a 500 ml Kinto water bottle, which fits beautifully down into there as well. So it's got a nice sort of capacity in there. And then I'm going to take my 
uh, iPad and put that into the iPad sleeve just here. You can see it fits very nicely. And then I've got my MacBook Pro, a 13 inch, which I put into that back compartment. And then I'm gonna put that strap down over onto the Velcro there. And that all does up very nicely. Now we are adding substantial weight. And as I said, that is a little issue with this bag for me. And it's not that it can't carry the weight. All the buckles and clips for the straps and all that are very, very robust. But my issue is actually with the padding on the strap. This is not a luxurious padding. Uh, it's a very simple, basic padding. It's, you can't move it without actually adjusting the straps. Um, so it, you don't have the flexibility of being able to move it to the right place depending on where you're carrying the bag easily. But also, uh, it's not the most padded padding. Uh, and so you, when the bag is full and when you are carrying a lot, and I carry things like music books, which weigh quite a lot, as I said, things like water bottles, pencil cases, notebooks, all of that kind of thing, I do find it sitting quite heavy on my shoulder. And as a one shoulder carry bag in the strap form, um, it does sit a little sort of heavy based on this sort of style of strap. Now I think of something like the strap on the Bravo Sling Max. Now this is also not movable, but it is a very luxurious, very padded strap. And I've never felt um, the issue of the weight with this bag, um, given the fact that the shoulder padding is really padded and it's very, a little bit broader, and it just sits a little nicer on your shoulder. So what does this bag cost? Today on the Alpaca website, this bag is 139 US dollars. Now, you can get bags that have similar features for a lot more. You can also get it for a lot less, but you are getting really well-made features in this and well thought out uh, organization and all of that. There's a lot going on with this bag that makes it really great at that 139 US dollar price point. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this bag now. So. I have to say I've already covered the biggest con with that and that is the strap. Um, just that lack of padding and the lack of flexibility of the main strap, uh, that's the biggest issue I have with this bag. Everything else kind of really works. This Axo Flux material, this is the Army Green 600D uh, version of it, this uh, material is great. I really like it. I've not seen any scuffs or marks that I haven't been able to like very simply wipe off. Um, it's a very a durable bag and because it's got a nice amount of sort of rigidity uh, you feel like your stuff is protected in it. I really like how well lined and padded the internal parts of this bag are from that felt lining for the laptop sleeve just to the general padding and speaking of the internals of the bag I always like when the inside of the bag is a lighter color than uh, the outside or just not black it allows us to see deeper into the bag uh, in less light and you can find your bits and pieces at the bottom of the bag with a lot uh, more ease. There are a few features that make this bag great for travellers and particularly work travellers or commuters uh, and a couple of those are things like the luggage uh, through strap on the back. Uh, that makes it so nice and easy to carry with a suitcase. Um, I also like the fact that it is adjustable into that backpack format. That allows for flexibility and versatility in how you want to carry this bag. So if you're traveling through airports or you know just on the train in the morning, you've got options for how you can actually carry this bag very, very easily. One feature I didn't mention earlier is this lovely quick access pouch on the front here. Um, it's got a little magnetic closure. It's a, sm a smaller pouch, but great for like your, you know, your sunglasses perhaps, or things you want to have easy access to. And there is a little zippered pouch uh, just on the inside of that, uh, which uh, is once again a nice small pouch for the bits and pieces that you want to carry. Not a particularly big pouch, but very, very useful. And it's that kind of organisation on the outside of the bag that I really enjoy. So, this was the Alpaca Tech Brief Pro, uh, the Elements Tech Brief Pro. Uh, it is a wonderful bag, great size, as I said, it holds up to about a 16 inch laptop. So you've got lots of uh, ability to carry all your bits and pieces in a multitude of different ways. So a well thought out bag at a pretty decent price, made by a brand that is doing really great stuff in the EDC and carry gear realm. So thank you for watching and a big thank you to Alpaca for sending this and a range of other products out for review. I really love their products and I love looking at them and sort of picking them apart because they are well thought out and incredibly well made. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there is a way you would like to support the channel, I would love to hear from you.
In the meantime, enjoy your bags, enjoy your gear, and I'll talk to you soon.